Hey Dad, do you want to help me with this video? No, you're adopted. Hi YouTube, it's been a while, so let's get back into it by making some burgers. Who doesn't like a good burger? People you can't trust, that's who. So, we're going to start by caramelizing some onions, we're going to dice those up nice and fine, get them in the pan with a bit of butter, and that's what we're going to start with. onion in there and I haven't had this many tears in my eyes since the first 13 minutes of up so that's probably a good sign so once they're nicely caramelized take them off and put them on a paper towel you're going to need them to dry off and cool otherwise when you put them with the burger mixture they'll actually end up cooking the mints if they're still a part of it and also the burger one holds together with uh, the wet onion in there. So I'll take them out, put them on a piece of paper towel, wait for them to dry. into the uh, fridge for a short while, allow them to set so when they come time to uh, put them in the pan they don't actually fall apart like uh, some of our previous attempts have. So we'll leave those to set for about 45 minutes to an hour. Alright, so they've got about an hour in the uh, fridge, they've firmed up quite nice, so it's about time to uh, get them in the pan. Uh, just a little bit of oil wiped around with a paper towel and the pan's nice and hot. What we're going to do is just very gently place them in, not throw them in, just place. The trick is not to move them very much once they're actually in the pan, just keep them still. It's going to take a long time to cook, but it should be worth it. So we'll get that to sear on one side and then we'll flip them over in a few minutes time. There we are, so we just flipped them. And uh, we're going to score the other side and stick them in the oven at that point. They look a little red around the outsides. Uh, that's all right. We're going to stick this pan in the oven uh, for a good few minutes, maybe about uh, just shy of 10 minutes, about 200 degrees, and that'll get it nice and cooked all over. It's still a little bit red in the middle, nice and juicy. So when you put things in the oven, or when you put your pan in the oven, I should say. Make sure that it's um, oven proof, up, up to about 200 degrees. And for the love of God, I've made this mistake so many times. Be careful when you take it out of the oven, because it will be screaming hot. And so many times I've gone to pick it up after taking it out of the oven. Burned my hand quite badly. So obviously, try to keep that in mind when it comes time to take them out in a few moments' time. So we're at dinner and uh, so I've just come back from a weekend away. You've seen my, uh, my sister, her husband and her husband's kid, Logan. And uh, after going out for a lovely meal, um, which uh, most of us ordered burgers, I thought, well, it'd be nice to actually do something since they're one of maybe four people that actually watch this channel. I, I turned to my sister and I asked her to remind me of the story that uh, has become legendary in some of my, uh, my friend circles in the time that she um, was in a Chinese or, uh, or an Asian restaurant. Um, quite drunk, I decided to 
very, very dubious reasons, only known to herself, to um, sneak into the kitchen and to steal an industrial sized kitchen wok from this restaurant, at which point she now has this stolen pan, slightly drunk, and decides, oh shit, now I'm a criminal, I'll have to do something about that, and she sneaks out of the window of the ladies' bathroom and just is wandering the streets of Huddersfield with a <laughs> with a wok that she's stolen, uh, until she eventually gets a bus home and realises that she's floating on the bus. So at the end of the day, we don't even have an additional extra walk in the family. She's just forgot about it one day. Um, and I turned to her at dinner and I actually asked her, can you just tell me that story again? And she looks to me, dead serious, and says, which time? Like it's happened more than once. Which time? It's, it's happened multiple times, apparently. So um, if, if you own any Asian restaurants in the uh, in, in the north of England, I'd watch out if I were you. That's that's my word of advice to you for the day.